In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about a tool that allows you to sync an audio file to a video file. So let's get started. This tool is called Auto Synchronization. With this tool, you can get a better result when it comes to matching your audio files to your video files. So let's say you have a YouTube channel and normally you would be recording your audio from a microphone, recording your webcam from a camera and your screen with your computer. Let's go ahead and see how this works. I recorded my screen with my audio, perhaps lower the brightness. So I have my audio here and my screen recording. And I also have my video where I'm talking while I'm doing the things that are on the screen recording. I am saying the same things in the uh, screen recording, but the problem is that without the uh, screen recording, my audio that's in the video is very faint. Let's give it a listen. And we can move on to light now. So the reason why this is happening is that this audio that's on this video file is uh, used using the camera's microphone, which is a little further from uh, where I'm sitting. So that's why my audio is a little faint. Below I have an audio that I captured using a microphone, which is right over here. So this uh, second footage gives me a higher quality audio. If I were to uh, sync these together myself, I will end up losing some of the seconds and just not getting a good result. Let's play this back. Perhaps lower the brightness just by a touch. So we're getting an echo and that's because these two files have not been synced. I could zoom in and attempt to do it based off the sound waves, which may not be perfect. Perhaps lower the brightness. I am still getting an echo. So this is where the auto synchronization comes in. It allows you to sync these two clips together with one click. But you need to first detach your audio from your screen recording, if you have a screen recording that is, because this tool works with an audio file and a video file. They cannot be both videos. Let's select the screen recording, right click, detach audio. There we go. If I mute this, play this back, there is no audio even though these sound waves are here. But instead, I was able to separate the audio. I will turn off the video and play this. And we can move on to light now. So with one click, I was able to separate my audio. Now let's drag this back where it was, drag the audio there as well, select my audio, hold down command or control, and then select your video. So you need one audio, one video. Make sure that both footage are related to one another. Right click and auto synchronization. There we go. Now if I were to play this back, Perhaps lower the brightness just by a touch. I'm no longer getting an echo. And that is because the audio has now been perfectly matched with my video. If I mute this, you can see the mouth movements are the Perhaps same. lower the brightness just by a touch. So we're not even missing a second. Now I can grab my video, double click, Head over to video and scale this down so we have this webcam in the corner of our screen recording. Click and drag it in the corner or anywhere else that you'd like. Let's put it right here. If you'd like, uh, you could use a mask to get another shape. Maybe this is not ideal. Double click, head over to video, mask and choose another shape, a circle, drag the corner and now I'm just getting one circle. 
you can get a dapple line, like a square, and you could even use the utility effect. Let's hit Command Z, get the original video. Head over to Effects, uh, Default, Utility. Click and drag Image Mask on top of my video. Double click, Video, Effects, and now I have more options for shapes. Maybe I want it to be like a book, triangle, moon, a star, or anything else that I like, or maybe a speech bubble. As we learned, you can uh, work with the X and Y. I will get a circle. You can work with the X and Y. That was X, this is Y. Scale X and scale Y. You can even blur the edge if you'd like. Let's remove the blur and stick with what we have. Command C, Command V. I want to get another result. Let's turn off this video. Double click on this one and set it to rectangle again. You can use a frame to decorate your webcam. Head over to Elements. Maybe I can put a live element. Or the name of my channel, whatever I want. Let's add like a subscribe uh, animation. Perhaps lower the brightness just by a touch. You can go to tutorial if you wanted to maybe point out to something. Right now we were talking lower about... Lower the brightness. Brightness, so I can drag one of these and just put it right here. Double click so I can point to the brightness as I'm speaking about it. Hit OK. Perhaps lower the brightness just by a touch. And then I can just close it here so it moves out. And then I can just close it here so it moves out. Brightness just by a touch. You can add a transition if you'd like. As for the frames, you can head over to Effects, open this up, head over to Overlays, and you can find some frames for your video. Let's put uh, studs directly on top of my video. This is optional. You have other uh, frames as well. We have a frame category. You can go to Utility and get a border and just decorate your webcam. Let's delete the top video and bring back the circle that we had here. I will put the border on this, so I have this white outline. Double click, effects, come down to a uh, pip border. You can adjust the size, the blur, you can, uh, Choose the colors if you want to choose something different. Maybe the colors of your channel. Change the gradient direction as you'd like. Hit OK once you're finished. Let's click this. Now that I have set my uh, video, the webcam and all, I can go ahead and put an intro for my YouTube channel. Drag this forward, Titles, and let's go to Education and Tutorial, which is a suitable category for this video. Let's check this one out. Let's drag this at the start. Double click, adjust the text.
add a transition at the end. Play this back. Perhaps lower the brightness just by a touch. I will drag this to the other end. We can put a fun music at the start. Drag it underneath. Split the audio right here. And double click on the audio, fade it out. Like so. Grab the audio for your tutorial and fade it in. Let's give it a listen. Perhaps lower the brightness just by a touch. And you could actually uh, leave the audio for the whole tutorial. And instead use audio ducking. Drag the... Uh, Select both of the audios and then hit the lower the volume of other clips. And we can move on to light now. Hit OK and I'm just going to fade out the end. And I have myself a YouTube video. What you can do is edit your audio to get rid of the background noise. You can hear the wind in the back. So let's copy and paste this. I just copied my audio right here to compare it after I have uh, worked with this audio to see a before and after. Now let's work with the audio of our example tutorial. Double click the audio and we're just going to turn on denoise and I will just leave it on weak. Let's hit OK. Perhaps lower the brightness just by a touch. Now the audio is a little bit distorted. In the further lessons, we're going to learn how to fix audios like this with the equalizer tool. For now, I'm just going to leave it be and instead just just uh, cut my audio so that if there's an empty space, we don't get that in our timeline. I will turn this off, auto ripple and delete this so that it does not move this audio over here. And there we go. Now at the center part, I'm getting the music playing at the full volume. Grab the audios and just fade them out by a little bit. Do the same thing for the other audio. Fade in and fade out. So let's compare this. This was before. Perhaps lower the brightness just by a touch. We have the background noise, a hissing sound, and it wasn't suitable for our tutorial. But over here, we remove the background noise. Perhaps lower the brightness just by a touch. And like we said, we're going to fix the distortion in audio in the further lesson using the equalizer tool. Now I have completed my example tutorial. Let's put an end screen right here. Titles. Let's see. I will go to education and tutorial. I'm looking for end screens. Let's grab this right here over my video and grab a sample color underneath. Transition, dissolve. So I can get this effect. Warmer side or the colder side. Now I can type in, uh, thanks for watching.
and hit OK. Maybe fade out the transition, like so. Let's take a look at our tutorial. Perhaps lower the brightness just by a touch. And we can move on to light now. We also have Etch a Cell. If you'd like, you can change the uh, color of the green, move it towards the warmer side or the colder side. And there we go. I now have a tutorial that I can put in my supposed YouTube channel. This was possible using the, the auto synchronization, detach audio, and all the other things that we learned so far. Let's move on to the next lesson.